thousands of healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, and paramedics have gone all out battling against the pandemic since the outbreak of COVID-19 in the Sultan of the Fuman last year in February. No words can express their tremendous dedication, hard work, efforts, and not to forget the sacrifices they have made to ensure our safety. Therefore, on this auspicious occasion, while the country is celebrating the 51st National Day of the Sultanate of Oman, we at TTV got an opportunity to speak with some of the unsung heroes who shared their personal account while fighting COVID. Uh, we start uh, working in COVID ICU uh, with a very strong emotions that we are afraid of our relative, of ourselves. But uh, there is one thing that emotionally support us that we will save uh, lives. So I can uh, I can tell that uh, started as COVID ICU staff. It's very difficult, but. Uh, we saved uh, ourselves, our family, with, uh, with the support of our uh, ministry and our uh, Royal Hospital team. It was very difficult emotion, more than three uh, weeks or more than that, we are not seeing our family, which is my mother, my father, and all my brother's sister. But we managed that one uh, because we all thinking uh, positively that we are saving lives, next time somebody will save our and our family's life. As you all know, we had to shut down most of the services during this period, especially the clinics, the elective inpatients. So the administration and uh, the doctors came up with uh, a very uh, sustainable and uh, practical idea to initiate uh, telemedicine. Quite recently, a document from Deloitte uh, put up a study talking about hospitals in 2040 and beyond. And definitely, without any doubt, telemedicine is a very powerful tool. If it's used appropriately, very sustainable, uh, a pound of your investment, you get five pounds back or reals. And not only that, it's that you can reach out the patients to their houses without requiring them to come to the hospital where it is almost a torture of journey for the patient to go through, waiting for the doctors, waiting for the x-rays, waiting for the medications and so forth. So taking care of patients was one aspect. However, when the healthcare workers became sick, and got admitted with COVID. That was really a difficult time for us. I still remember when two of the doctors got admitted in our ICU. One was an Omani and one was an Indian doctor. And they went through the entire process of COVID illness, being on the ventilator and going towards the stage where at one point we felt that, are they really going to come back? And then, Lo and behold, they, re they recovered and they got back to normal. And today, they are leading a completely normal life. So that gives a sense of achievement. That makes us feel that yes, as doctors, we can go in any time and do our job. Initially, there was uh, uh, panic everywhere, actually. Uh, the fear of getting infected was there among healthcare workers also. But through proper training and uh, the pro uh, education about the PP kits, uh, we could overcome that situation and everybody became more confident uh, as the pan pandemic progressed. And everyone got adjusted to the COVID situation quickly. And the efforts of the MOH uh, officials to vaccinate healthcare workers at the earliest as vaccines became available really boosted our confidence. All our nurses battle fear and anxiety and above all, the exhaustion in the personal protective equipments, rubbing our skins and the sweat running down the bodies was enormous. 
we were making sure that we will not carry any virus back home to our loved ones. We called countless patients and their family members and we always remained with our patients at the bedside with their medications and at times to say final goodbye which was very very painful. Just like the rest of the world, we were learning many new things about the virus, treatment and so on. There was multiple hurdles that we had to face. However, with our team of NMC, we were able to do the best. Now the good tale of story is the COVID cases has been dramatically came down. It probably it is on its way of exit. But my uh, impression is this is not the end. In terms, even the COVID himself may not be the end or if it's not COVID, something else will come. So it gave a good lesson to human uh, beings. It's a lesson of hygiene, unity and love. So through this, we can defeat any kind of diseases in the way ahead. Uh, some situations I have to had to stand as a, a family member, counselor and mentor uh, to give physical and mental support to the patient. I demonstrated my care, love, kindness, courage and values and professional responsibility as a nurse. I had known my worth as a nurse. That is my role. The, one of the stories that I remember that uh, during that time there were uh, many pregnant ladies but one of them was uh, she was very strong and she was actually a warrior having a child with her and we did a caesarean for her and she was very critical for um, for quite some time and we man she managed actually she managed to get out of the ICU and she had her baby uh, back home so that's very surprising story and very heartwarming story that uh, I loved so much and uh, I'm happy that COVID cases were reduced and we still live with the anxiety that COVID-19 might come back but we still have our hopes high. Field hospital uh, it's, uh, it's like a challenge for uh, Ministry of Health uh, because the place is not uh, well uh, constructed as a hospital so we have to modify a lot of uh, things in it and uh, to come up with a suitable uh, healthcare institution to take care of COVID uh, patients. The challenges were uh, many uh, challenges uh, for this place but uh, thanks God we, we made it and we have gone through uh, each and every uh, step of uh, health and safety and patient safety uh, involved in this uh, place. Today, of course, we'll celebrate the National Day of Oman and I'm happy that this is uh, at least uh, we have uh, a good, I hope, ending of uh, our COVID-19. <laughs> and we look forward that we'll continue the practice. It's a very safe practice for hand hygiene and putting the mask, I think. Not just for COVID, for other uh, 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 viruses like the flu. How the flu viruses has reduced even uh, when, once we practice the simple things. And wish you all happy National Day. Well, that was some of the heartfelt stories, the struggles and challenges faced by our healthcare providers during the pandemic. Make sure you still follow the precautionary measures issued by the Supreme Committee and the Ministry of Health for the protection of yourself and the people around you. Once again, wishing you all a very happy 51st National Day.